Hi everyone, Arnold here, SantaMuerteMagic.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. The topic of today's video is how to make physical offerings to Santa Muerte without spending any money. In the past, I have said that you do not need any money to make offerings to Santa Muerte, and I have given examples of offerings that you can make to Santa Muerte that can be made for free, like offerings of prayer, offerings of time and meditation, etc. And while these are very valid offerings, I understand that some of you out there might still want to make physical offerings to Santa Muerte or tangible offerings that you can hold and see, but you may not have enough spare money to buy physical gifts for your Santa Muerte altar. So in this video, I will give you a few suggestions of how you can make physical, tangible offerings to Santa Muerte for absolutely free. Remember, when it comes to making offerings to Santa Muerte, it is not the price that matters, but the intent. If you make an offering with pure intent, with respectful intent, then it does not matter that an offering did not cost you any money. This being said, you should not offer something to Santa Muerte just because it is free. I've said before, how would you feel if someone gave you a gift with the explanation of, here, we were just going to throw this out anyway. Why don't you have it? Or, here, we found this in a dumpster. We thought you could use it. How much appreciation do you think you could feel for something like that? So do not do that to Santa Muerte. It is okay if you do not have the money to spend on Santa Muerte, but also I do not think you should use Santa Muerte as an excuse to shuffle the trash around in your life. Okay, so what are some examples of physical, tangible offerings you can make to Santa Muerte that do not cost anything? Number one, fresh picked flowers. Flowers are a popular and common altar offering among Santa Muerte devotees, and I think in our modern world we often forget that flowers grow in nature for free. The next time you're on a walk or you spot a publicly accessible garden, consider plucking a few of the prettiest flowers for your Santa Muerte altar. Number two, drinks. It is also common to see drink offerings at Santa Muerte altars. You can avoid having to pay for drink offerings by saving a sip of your drinks for Santa Muerte. Just pour a small serving of whatever drink you're enjoying into a shot glass and place that shot glass at your Santa Muerte altar so that you and Santa Muerte can enjoy the drink together. Number three, greeting cards. Whenever I would get greeting cards throughout the year, I would place the ones with the prettiest artwork on my altar. I would not set the cards open on the altar because the messages that were inside were intended for me, but I would still lean the card, the closed card, on my altar so Santa Muerte could enjoy the artwork. Number four, notes of thanks. Another free example of a tangible offering for your altar is to write short notes to Santa Muerte and place them at your altar. You can use post-it notes or notebook paper and just write something like, thank you for all you have done, or I appreciate your presence in my life. If you are at all artistic, you can include a little drawing for Santa Muerte or maybe even try to express your uh, devotion, your thanks in the form of a poem. Number five, stones, leaves, or shells. If you are someone who appreciates beauty in all aspects of the natural world, consider going on a hunt for a beautiful, naturally occurring stone, leaf, or seashell. You can decorate the item with magical symbols or place it on your altar as it appears. Number six, confetti. To me, confetti represents happiness or joy, and confetti is nothing but colorful paper. Consider cutting a few sheets of junk mail or scrap paper into tiny pieces and sprinkling those pieces over your altar. If you don't want the mess of confetti, you can fill a glass or vase with homemade confetti and use that as a base to display something like a handful of flowers. 
While technically made out of something that would otherwise be trash, the act of cutting and converting the paper into something new shows that you are not simply dumping trash on your altar and instead converts the paper into a well-intentioned gift. Number seven, fruit or nuts. Uh, Pay attention to the trees growing in your city. They might be offering items that you can offer on your Santa Muerte altar. Fruit like apples and oranges and nuts like acorns can be found growing on trees in many places. A piece of fruit or a handful of acorns uh, makes an excellent offering for a Santa Muerte altar. Lime and lemon trees are common in Southern California where I was raised, and you can use these to create an offering of something like lemonade or limeade. Squeeze into a shot glass, chill in the fridge, and sweeten with a couple dashes of sugar from a coffee house sugar packet. Number eight, salt symbols. Just like you can get sugar packets for free from a cafe or coffee station, you can also find places giving away free salt packets. Salt, associated with protection, can be used to create magical symbols on your altar, like pentagrams, the evil eye, runes, or whatever basic symbols you can come up with from your own magical tradition. Trace magic symbols on your altar in salt as a form of offering to Santa Muerte. With that, I think I'll start wrapping up the video. So I listed eight different types of items, physical, tangible items that you can get for free that coupled with the right intention, with a respectful intention, would make wonderful items to leave as offerings on your Santa Muerte altar. One was flowers, two was a portion of drinks that you get for yourself, three was greeting cards, you receive specifically the artwork on the cover of the greeting cards, four was homemade notes of thanks, five was stones, leaves, or shells, six was confetti, homemade confetti, just to beautify your altar with a splash of color that doesn't cost you anything. Number seven was fruit or nuts that you find growing on trees uh, or having fallen beneath trees. And number eight was salt that is used to trace magical symbols on your altar. Hopefully you don't need me to say this, but remember if you're taking anything from private property, if you're picking flowers from a private garden or taking an extra salt packet from a private restaurant, make sure you get permission uh, to take those items away. I'm curious what you all think. If you all have any ideas for physical, tangible items that you can offer at a Santa Muerte altar that do not cost anything, please comment below. I'm sure anybody who's interested in this topic will appreciate whatever suggestions you have to offer. Um, As always, if you have any questions about anything you heard me discuss today, please reach out. There's the contact form on the website, the Patreon messenger system, and the Discord chat server. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, bye.